In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brake calipers on this Volkswagen Jetta. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts out. And when I take the last one off, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. And grab the wheel and slide it off. We're going to take this cable off, use a 13 millimeter socket. Just rotate this just like that. You can just pry this to the side. You can use a pry bar or even a screwdriver. Just pop that off. that and this cable will pull right out just slides out just like that we're gonna loosen the banjo bolt just use a 13 millimeter socket just break it free and then I'm just gonna snug it up just a little bit just so the fluid doesn't leak out that'll make it easier afterwards when we go to take the brake hose off. Now we're going to take the brake caliper bolts out, use a 13 millimeter socket. You can use a pair of pliers to prevent the pins from spinning. Take those out. Take the brake caliper off, take a brake caliper hanger, and I'm just gonna hang it from the coil spring. Just like that, just make sure there's no tension on this brake hose right here. We can take the brake pads off, just slide those off. Now I'm going to take the caliper brackets out. I'm going to use an eight millimeter hex socket. Take those two bolts out. I just moved the caliper over the top of the rotor. Loosen those up, take those out. and slide the bracket off. We're gonna take the bracket off the caliper. I'm just gonna use some pliers to hold the pins. Pull the bolts out, use a 13 millimeter socket. And same with this bolt. Now the caliper is separated from the bracket. On the bracket, I'm just gonna put a thin coat of silicone grease or silicone paste just on those ears right there. We can take the anti-rattle clips or the pad clips, line those up, just push those on. And that's good. You can check the pins, just make sure there's grease in them. Just pop these off. I'll just add a little more grease, just using the same silicone paste. But there should be grease in these. Do the same on this one. I'll just add a little more. And just make sure that seals up properly. And now we can install this on the car. Slide the bracket over the rotor. 
take the bolts, get the bolts started. down. And torque the bolts to 48 foot-pounds. Slide the brake pads on. Just like that. And slide the new caliper over the brake pads. Take the bolts, get those started. We'll tighten these down. Torque these to 26 foot pounds. I'll just take the new banjo bolt out and the seals. I'm going to put one seal on the bolt like that and then the other one once we go through the hose it's going to go on the bottom side. Take the old caliper, we can take the hanger off. With the drain bucket underneath, we're going to take this bolt out. We're going to have some brake fluid. I'm going to take this seal off. Sometimes you have to use some pliers and just hold the bottom seal. Just unbolt the bolt. You want to make sure the master cylinder has plenty of fluid in it as well. So you don't drain it all out. So check that before you do this. I'm just going to cut this one off just with some side cutters. Take that seal off. Take that bolt out. Make sure this is clean. Looks good. It's going to go right there. Put that washer on or seal at the top. Go through. Then you got to seal at the bottom. Get this lined up. Get that bolt started in the caliper, the banjo bolt. We're going to torque this bolt to 28 foot-pounds. Slide this through the caliper. Pull the lever down and just get this lined up. And there you go. Now we're going to bleed the brakes for this caliper. I'm just going to use a pick and just take off the little cap right here off the bleeder screw. Set that aside. And to start, we're gonna gravity bleed just using an 11 millimeter wrench. Open up the bleeder, just with a drain pan underneath and making sure the fluid is full under the hood. The brake fluid in the master cylinder reservoir. And we'll let that bleed out. I 
and it's starting to drip. So I'm just going to snug this up. Just close that for a minute. And then I'm going to get an assistant to pump the brake pedal. With it holding, then I'm just going to open this up. Some more air came out. Now I'll close it up again. All right, go ahead, pump it nice and slow three times. And with the pedal held down again, we'll open it up. Some more air. Close it up again. All right, go ahead, pump it again three times. And holding, open it up again. And nice clean stream. Close that up. And then you can put the cap on. Afterwards, you want to make sure the brake fluid in the master cylinder reservoir is full. You can check on the side, there's a full line. And top it off, adjust accordingly. Now reinstall the tire. Line that up. Take the lug bolts, get those all started. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.